Time now for the day in sport with Mike Tomalaris. Mike, it doesn't get bigger than this. A massive night ahead for the Socceroos. Janice, every game appears to be very important for Australia, but this one particularly, the Socceroos face a massive task in their final World Cup qualifying group match, and even a big win against Thailand may not be enough to automatically progress to Russia in 2018. Well, joining us live now from Melbourne is SBS reporter Manny Tsigas. Manny, good evening to you. The Socceroos' most prolific striker, he's set to start. Tell us about it. That's right, Tomo. Tim Cahill will be taking to the pitch this evening for the Socceroos. Australia, of course, looking for a convincing win over Thailand. But as you said there, they will also be hanging out for the result of that final match in Group B between Saudi Arabia and Japan. That one takes place tomorrow morning, and they're hoping that Japan can get over the line for that one too. Now, uh, despite the weather here in Melbourne, there's still thousands of fans rocking up to watch tonight's game. Plenty of green and gold and a smattering of Thai fans as well. And the Socceroos are buoyant heading into the clash. It's good to see that everyone's out to support us for such an important game. And hopefully we can uh, get the job done and, um, you know, let them enjoy the game. And uh, hopefully they can have the success uh, that we want. And that's to, to qualify tonight. And now I'm being joined by former Socceroo Simon Colosimo, who will be uh, chatting to us about uh, tonight's game. Simon, thanks for joining us tonight, mate. So as you heard there, Tim Cahill in the uh, lineup tonight, and also uh, Aaron Moyes going to be uh, back in the lineup too. How much of a difference will they be making to uh, the Socceroos lineup? Uh, they're very big ends. I mean, Tim uh, speaks for himself. He's a he's a big game player. He loves this stage and. Uh, Aaron, he didn't play uh, earlier in the week, which means that he'll be a little bit fresher. And the way he uses the ball is going to be very, very important tonight against a Thai team that'll probably sit back. Now, uh, Thailand will be playing a, uh, m a mostly uh, defensive game this evening. So where are the Socceroos likely to uh, try and get those goals from? Well, it's really important that they move the ball quickly. And uh, Amy Park here, or the rectangular stadium, as it's known, um, is the perfect surface for some of our guys to play. I mean, Aaron. Tommy Rogic, these guys, Matty Leck is going to be able to go with pace, so having a great surface to move the ball quickly is where they're going to be able to break the ties down. Now Japan has made it through to the, uh, the 2018 World Cup, so are they likely to take this, uh, this next match against Saudi Arabia, are they likely to take it lightly? No, I don't think so. They're a very proud nation and uh, you know, now that they've qualified from a player's perspective, they're going to be wanting to put a good performance on because they know that every game they play for that national team now is going to be subject to you know whether they go to Russia or don't go to Russia. So there's a lot riding on it for them also. No worries. Simon, thanks very much, mate, and enjoy the game. So, Tomo, the stage is set. Kickoff is at 8 p.m. And for all the highlights, be sure to tune in to SBS World News Late Edition at 10 p.m. Well done. Well done, Manny Sigurds there reporting from Melbourne.